Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Tiny Rogues. Now this is a, you know, cutesy little rogue, roguelite. Um, so, we'll kind of figure out things as we go along. There's like a pretty big skill tree. So, there's, there's going to be a lot of things for us to do. We'll kind of, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, so it looks like there's probably other classes as well, because it said pick a class. A hot-blooded young hero on a quest to vanquish humanity's biggest adversary. Can they defeat death? I'm gonna, okay. Let's play with this guy. So yeah, I don't think this is, like, a, a new roguelike by any means. Let me actually check the release date of the game um, before I... Uh, it's, it's been out for a little over a year, almost like a year and a half. Uh, welcome, young traveler. I'm here to help you get going on your journey. Move with WASD. Okay, you can dash with spacebar. or invisible to enemy attacks. Dashing costs one stamina. And then obviously, yeah, I have my attack. Okay. You can use bombs with Q. So I put a bomb down. Funded, now attack the target dummy with... Show it who's boss. And, okay. Hi, right, you're natural. Let's meet in the next room. Okay. To defeat stronger foes, you will have to arm yourself. Pick up items with E. Open your inventory with F. Um, drag and drop, or right-click the weapon to equip it. So there's a bow... A, a wand and a sword. Um, I am always for sword, like for things like that. Oh wait, do I pick up all of these things? Oh, I can pick up all of them. Can I sort through? Ah, okay. Okay, I see. Okay. Well done. Now bear with me for a moment. Okay. Oh. Uh, bear with you? More like pair with you. Am I? Okay, that was very bad. Uh, pairs increase your dexterity, meat increases your strength, and candy increases your intelligence. Food will grant EXP, you need XP to level up and learn new traits. Strength, dexterity, and intelligence increase the damage of weapons. You can check the scaling of your weapons by investigating the letters and the colors of strength, dexterity, and intelligence in its description. The better the scaling, the more damage the weapon gains from that attribute. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much dialogue. Attributes also grant other stats such as equip, uh, load capacity, movement speed, mana regeneration, and more. That is all I can teach you for now. The rest you will figure on your own. When you run into any trouble, don't forget you can use your flask with, uh, with holding V to recover a heart. Okay. So let's just grab all those. So it doesn't show... Wait, where's my... Oh. I'm very confused how this, like, whole equipping thing... So... Okay, so I can... Okay. And where can it lead? You know what? Let's go for the event. Oh, never mind. There we go. Yeah, see, I love using, like, bows and things like that. So, strength grants two keys. Yeah, give me the keys. I don't need strength. I'll be fine. Grants one key, grants ten gold. Well, I already have two keys. I think I probably am good on keys for now. Oh, uh, we'll go for strength. Like, I guess I could go for bombs, but I think just... I, I think 
just dealing more damage with my weapons is going to be more of a reliable source of damage. So increasing things like my strength, my intelligence, my dexterity. Uh, include at least one pair of gloves, at least one helmet. Let's take the helmet. Time to feast. I love how quick these little fights are, though. It's like the enemies don't have, like, a million HP. They're just kind of... Oh, you've been inflicted with a web. What does that affect that slows your movement speed? Okay. Game resumes in... Okay. Interesting. Oh. Where'd he... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, where'd he go? I'm going to feed you to my children. Oh, that's... Not probably good. Come on, come on, where he's gonna yep, okay. Hey, we got it, we got it. Okay, first boss defeated, nice. And we get options for things, okay. Um Ooh, grants one maximum companion capacity. Your companions grant uh 25% reduced stats to you. Is that that doesn't seem like a good thing, right? Grants 20% increased weapon damage dealt per equipped weapons upgrade level. Um melee enemies. Your companions grant 25% reduced stats to you. I mean, I guess I'll go with it. Oh no, they all fell. Can I, can I, can I get them? I have keys. Can I open them back? Can I open up the locked doors? Uh, the boneyard. Gain favor. Fully recover. Gain favor. Gain a heart container, a stamina point, or a mana point. Uh, tune all items that don't have an on a tune effect. Some items need a tuning before their effect starts working. Usually you gain a two minutes from completed combat encounters while wearing the item. I have... I only have 15... 15 souls, so I can't do the favor thing anyways. Uh, tune all in need of a... Wait, can, so you can just... You can just keep doing this? Or like... I'm confused. So they're a, they're a tune now? One random potion, log chest that contains a melee weapon. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, these guys are a lot tankier than, than the other guys were. Okay, as long as we take out the range guys, we don't really have anything to worry about with the melee guys. Okay. Um. I'm very confused how, like... Okay. I just Ooh, you know it's a locked chest. I gotta go for it, okay? Whoa. That was cool though. Alright, uh, fusion grants crystal pine resin on consumption. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, the, the way that things are equipped are very strange. Uncommon weapons... Sure. Um... Tax per second. Well, let's compare it to, like... 
I don't know. Pineapple cannon seems cool. Balloon hammer. I think I'm gonna go with this though. Yeah, it's like, I don't understand. Like if I press one, okay, equips that, first that, equips that, equips that, equips that. But then it's like things get moved around every time you equip things. So I don't know how much I like that, but. Wait, can I just spam this? I guess I can. So far rewards not locked. Sure. I mean, the pineapple cannon is pretty cool. I will, I'll say that much. Let's see, what we get? Oh, we got some bombs. Uh, we'll buy some things. Sure, why not? Plus one dexterity. Someone's a gnome companion. Definitely buying that. Bottles of booze? So companions only like last for a little while, right? I have no idea what this stuff does. This game is a little, little confusing. Uh, grants two ancestral spirit companions. Ooh, that seems cool. Gain cheap shot, increasing secondary attack. Dealing a crushing hit grants you five bones, hunters. Yeah, I'm going for the ancestral aid. That just seems really cool. I'm gonna go for more gold. Should have probably gone for the key. I think the key might have been better, but... I don't know. One helmet. I'll go for the pair of gloves, because I already have the helmet. Who dares to enter my lair? I, I guess I do. I might have underestimated you a little bit. Good for you. Oh, they... Okay, so do all enemies just have two stages? Or... Okay. Well, I was cursed, but I killed him, so I'll take it, I guess. Okay, so this is probably a really good thing, I'm hoping. Uh, increased radiant damage, but also reduced dark damage. Okay. Maximum stacks of poison. Uh, melee. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go take that. That just seems... That just seems really good. Maybe there's not like an actual like, um... Got any souls? I have some souls. Tune all equipped. Yeah, see, I'm not- I'm still not sure what that attunement thing is, but... We got beehives, okay. The graphics for this game remind me of like of like Terraria. Like look at the like look at those things. Uh well maybe I feel like I feel like like a worse version of Terraria for like the graphics. Like I definitely would say the graphics for Terraria are better than this, but that's just kinda like that's like one of the main similarities that I can see. Why can I not go through here? I have a key. Why can't I? Do I need do it? You put a bomb? Oh, you do put a bomb. It's like Binding of Isaac. You put you put bombs in places and you reveal secret doors. Hey, 
Give me the, give me the meat. Drops loot when shattered. I have 40 gold though. I could just go in here. Applies random enchantment modifiers to weapon against power potion. Potion. Mini B. Falls into the max of B at upgrade level four. Uh, applies random. Just give me that. Sit, stay, and have a drink. I could go into the tavern, but I don't want to. But yeah, this does re this does kind of remind me of like Terraria if it was more of a roguelike. Maybe that's just me, but it's just kind of how it's just kind of the. The feel that I get from it. It's like a roguelike version of Terraria. That contains a ranged weapon. Sure. Okay, these ancest ancestral aids are doing pretty well. Chloroplast. See, this is what I mean. One random resin. So many aspects of this game are similar to Terraria. Like Chloroplast and... I don't know. Crystal Pine. Uh, included at least one set item, at least one. I'm just gonna go for the set item, then. Okay. I'm gonna use bees against ya. Just for the irony of fighting a bee with bees. Okay. You should have escaped while you could. I am done holding back. And the thing where they have, like multiple like multiple whatever phases I think is the yeah that's the right word but they have multiple phases that's it I don't know I could be crazy but I just, I, it really does remind me of terraria uh equip load grants two set maximum block you have. I'll go with that. We'll get this. We'll get the set item. Cause why not? And now we can use the favor thing. Um. Want to go for an extra heart? Not really. I think I'm just gonna go for the mana and then I'll attune items. Still not sure what that attune items thing does, but we go for it anyways because we can. Okay, yeah, things here are a little tough, okay? this thing do? <sighs> I'm so confused. Dexterity. I'm 
not really paying attention. I probably should be. So, weapons and equipment. Lock chest that contains a melee weapon. I don't know. I'm probably going to sell some things because I don't know what things I even have at this point. Drop any items you'd like to me. How do I... Not the best, how about... Sure. And, uh... Okay. And then we can get rid of that. So just sell off all those things. Uh, okay. So, okay. I am really confused how these things work, but... Throwing slash ranged. Okay. Dice. Okay. One random resin. I'm just gonna go for the intelligence, I think. Weapon. Okay, I haven't been to the tavern yet. Can I help you? Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't. I was trying to skip. Okay, what does whiskey do? It's like a, that grants and adds per stack. You have one per. Oh. <laughs> Against two random consumables, upgrade weapons, and repair armor. You need anything forged? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And battle, ho, ho, ho. So now, isn't this, doesn't it say it becomes a max B? Or no, it's only level 3 right now, right? Ah, dang. Wait, what does it say? To compare. Oh, okay. Grants your rewards at the cost of health. I'm gonna go with this one. No idea what the max of B is gonna be like, but... The, whole, the only reason why I even want to upgrade it is for the sake of seeing what the max of you does. Uh, consumption. And last one, room. Well, give me ex the experience so I can level up. Take a, take a level up. Turn out attacking for one second, gain focus might. Taking damage or on defy health, gain adrenaline. And on non-trigger trigger, uh, chain lightning that deals. Ooh, okay, I'll take that. That seems cool. And what does what do the other things do? So we have Grant One Soul Heart. So we could go for that. Grant Stamina Surge. Okay. Put at least one offhand pair of boots. Okay. This is all of our strength. Or we defend this pl okay. Well that's great. Don't really care though. No, my brother, I shall avenge you. Oh, this is definite See, I'm telling you, this is so similar to this is exactly like uh like Terraria. 
You cannot tell me otherwise. This is so similar to Terraria. Okay, grant uh, stamina recovered speed. Your percent modifiers to move and speed also apply to damage dealt by your companions during combat. Uh, that explodes. Give me that! A missile that explodes every eight seconds? Yeah. I will take that. That just seems, that just seems cool. Tune items. Still, no idea what a tuning items does, but... Wait, this is a, wait, this is body armor. Oh, okay. How good your alignment is. Ah, okay. Eh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. So this... Ah! Okay. Okay. Grants you bombs, grants... Okay. Yeah, hey, I got another level up. Take it. Hey, no more stats from strength, but the uh, penalties from exceeding your equip load are reversed. Or seeing too much from you. Quick to stack a puncture with. Okay, on combat start, main full stacks of battle rush. Your on combat start effects, including this one, every 10 seconds. Okay. Change equipment. Okay, I'll go for it. Honestly, I don't really know what, like, most of these things do. I just kind of... Grants one maximum companion, but you deal 50% less damage. Well... Uh... Take a rest? You feel reflect, reflect, refreshed and relaxed. What was I trying to say? Re Reflashed? Okay. Drops loot when shattered by item. Yeah, I don't have any gold. What did I do with all my gold? Did I spend it? Maybe I spent it. I don't know. Ooh, two keys, okay. Oh, okay. Things are not going too well. It says it refreshes each floor. But I don't... Did I not have it? That's... Okay, I'm confused. Now see, it's not refreshing. Am I missing something? Maybe I have something that's preventing it from refreshing? I don't know. I could be just being a complete idiot right now. Which I probably am, but... I am very much so confused right now. At least one charm, I'll take the charm. Okay. Yeah, he's uh he's kind of deadly.
truly are a burden to this world, I am done holding back. Okay. That's what they all say. Okay, and I should have dodged, but I didn't think I was going to hit by that, but okay. Dang. That was close, that was close. How long have I been recording for? It's only been 30 minutes, wow. I feel like it was so much longer than that. Yeah, your world tier is now 1. Achieving this world uh, objective enables a new set of enemies to appear on each floor. Okay. Oh, wow. Mastery level 2? Uh, you arrived from death once per run. Oh, this is sick. Always contains an additional armory so that offers two weapon choices. And then I can disable it if I want to. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, is there anything that actually, like, buffs me? Because a lot of these upgrades are like, oh, you start with an extra heart, or you can be revived. It's like, that stuff is good, but, like, is there anything that's actually going to allow me to deal extra damage? Like, if the... Gain a 20% chance on each room reward roll. Roll the maximum amount of rewards. Just roll. Go with that, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. That's interesting, though. And there's new characters as well I can play with. And a different, another world tier. And there's, yeah, oh, there's a bunch of classes. Whoa, okay. Way more classes than I thought there was. And there's a starting gift. Additional heart, start with six bombs, start with 35 gold. I think I'm gonna go with more gold. Um. Dang, okay. There's so much more to this game than I thought there was. Anyways. But yeah, my name is Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Tiny Rogues. If you did, then please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.